Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is break the lug nuts. All right, next thing we're gonna do is jack the car up. All right, now that we've got all the lug nuts off, we're gonna remove the wheel. As you can see here, it's all factory. Nice for us from these brake pads. So the coupler cover should just cover all of this up and it comes with these clips that look pretty super simple. I've never done this before but just by reading the instructions it looks pretty straightforward. So you've got these clips that just hook on right here. Just like that, top and bottom. like so and then I will get the cover and see where I need to move them and put them in position hold on to those Let's set this back up again sorry I'm trying to do all this here we go all right Use the rear. So this needs to move forward just a little bit. You can see this lines up down here. And now I just need to move this up. There we go. Kind of position in this into place. It's not going anywhere once I put these locking nuts on. And also just to make sure, so in the box there was a little piece of paper that's a feeler strip. It's right here. So what you do is you take this, you slide it between the clip right here. Just to make sure that there's no contact between this and the rotor. So the top is clear. It can slide through perfectly fine. And we'll also test out the bottom. So there we go. There's clearance, as you can see right here. Okay, so the next step is to put these locking nuts on, which I'll tighten these down with the wrench. But you get the idea how pretty simple and straightforward that is. That was literally less than five minutes to put this on. So that's what it'll look like. I'll show you guys what it looks like with the wheel back on as soon as I get it put up back on okay the wheel is back on as you can see there's plenty of clearance with my aftermarket wheels I double checked to make sure everything was still clearing and right before I put the wheel back on so that's what it looks like all right so we're gonna repeat the same process for the front break all the lug nuts all right, now we're going to jack the car up.
sure that we have it. Factory six piston Brembos. Grab a couple shots real quick. clips same thing as the back so these were a little different design Here we have the front caliper cover. It's got the custom logo engraving with the hand laid paint. So that's what it'll look like on. Just a quick look. You can see it fits very snug. So these are, now that I'm finding that out, I'm seeing this little retainer thing right here. So these are actually labeled right hand. We are on the driver's side, so it's left hand. There we go, there's our left hand. And what I'm finding is this little, uh, I don't know what you wanna call it, this little clip right here slips in. Let me adjust this real quick clips in the bottom right here and then it goes against it doesn't allow it to hit the rotor so you can kind of find um, where you need to be so it won't allow you to move in or out it'll just kind of get right up against the rotor right there this one also fall out so I'm gonna put the top well, I don't even know if the camera was on there I'll show you up top so like this little road or this little clip right here rests up against uh, the rotor like again left hand and right hand left hand so this clip goes right in and kind of rests up against the rotor there we go I don't know if you can see it in there nice and snug so I'm gonna take this off real quick, get this set back up. Snug. All right, let's do the bottom. Like that sound. I can go under here and feel that that little retainer clip is right there where it should be. All right, everything seems pretty tight. Just hand tighten these for now. And like we did on the rear, we're gonna take that little plastic strip right here and make sure it isn't there's enough room for it to go in and out so there's clearance on top 
let's go right here clearance on the bottom so we are all set so i will tighten these down real quick these locking nuts i was being a little too lazy to go get the correct uh, socket size so i'm just using some needle nose pliers to tighten these down give it a good old little tug all right that seems to be on there there we go all right we'll knock out the bottom took a little longer time to do the the fronts and the rear but I mean all together it's literally taken off 15 20 minutes even reading the instructions trying to make sure how everything goes on all right it's on there tight it's not going anywhere give it a little wipe down real quick for some photos and then we're gonna go take it up the street and go get some shots with the wheels on the car. Now let's put the wheel back on. Plenty of fitment. Or clearance, not fitment. I don't hear anything rubbing. Everything seems pretty tight. All right, let's drop it.